Hi, my name is Ananda Sukarlan and people say that I'm a composer. What is a composer? Uh, a composer is somebody who composes music. And that is different from somebody who writes music. Uh, you know, if you go to Hollywood as, as somebody who writes music, the first lesson they tell you is that for the films, you don't compose, you write music. The difference is that you just write and you don't think about the structure of the music. Composing means you are composing things which are already there and you compose it, you structure it and so you make a new piece, a, a whole piece out of it. While if you write for films, the film determines you what to write. So you write for this scene, for this scene, for this scene. And so that's why you say you write music for films, you don't compose music for the films. And now, uh, I want to talk about something which I recently experienced, and that is composer's block. Uh, in literature world, people uh, talk about writer's block, which means that you cannot write for a certain period of time because you just uh, cannot. Well, the, the point is not because you don't know how to write or you don't know how to compose, but uh, it's more the problem of you are not sure of what you compose or what you write. I can write music whatever uh, and whenever, but when it comes to a certain piece of music, sometimes I get stuck. Uh, I'm writing this opera now. Uh, the, the opera is called Clara. That's the name of a girl, of a girl, Chinese descendant girl. The opera talks about the situation in May 1998. That was the fall of the dictatorship of Suharto in my country, in Indonesia. And at the time, people blamed the people from Chinese descendants that they are controlling the economy and they are uh, the, the aliens of Suharto. And so they, uh, they attacked the people from the Chinese descendants. And what is worse is that they raped the Chinese girls. So, uh, this is one of the situations where a Chinese girl, uh, fictionally called Clara, although it's based on true stories, of course, uh, Clara was taken out from his from her from her car and then was raped by, well, in the story it was raped by by twenty around twenty men, twenty people. It's a very difficult theme, very difficult subject to write, and so uh, also due to my personal experiences. I was in a total composer's block for about two months. And now the deadline is approaching, and I, I always say the biggest inspiration for any artist is the deadline. It's not, you know, you see a work of art and you get inspired, or you see uh, you know, a beautiful woman and you get inspired. No, the, the thing is deadline. Once you approach a deadline, you get inspired. And that's very true. And so uh, I have nothing else to worry well I, I i still worry but i just have to sit and then i have to write the music so i start to uh, think about the structure of the opera and it's based on this uh, well the book is already like a, a big mess but this is the book from uh, an indonesian writer seno bumira Dharma. Uh, the story is called clara and so I realized that I have to change the structure because for the staging problems, uh, we have to, you know, set the decorations and everything. And then Clara has to be raped. And so you should put all the red, red uh, tomato ketchup or whatever. Uh, so it looks like she's full of blood and everything. And it's much easier to put blood and then stay with, with uh, being bloody all the time instead of you know cleaning up and then put blood again and, and the story is like that so I have to change the structure uh, the story of course remains the same but the structure is kind of flashback uh, and then the music is very dark and of course if you write music you have to know you have to experience what is that about and this is about a girl being raped now I've never raped a girl and I have never been raped either. So that's difficult. Uh, so I read lots of books about 
uh, raping and about violence. And that helps me a lot, of course. So, uh, and then now I have something like two months to write the opera. Uh, but you know, there's a story about Mozart's Don Giovanni, that he still wrote the overture of Don Giovanni the morning of the premiere. I hope I won't reach that stage that, you know, the premiere, I, I hope the mu all the music is finished. But yes, now I'm working like at least 15 hours a day. Uh, I sleep at 3 o'clock uh, in the morning and I already wake up at 9 and work again here on this piano with the computer, with all this music paper and everything. It's been like this for two weeks and it will be like this for another month. So that's about my opera and that's about Composer's Block. <laughs>